my friends. Welcome back December 3rd, 2022, and you are looking at a massive meteor sighting spanning 15 different states and two different countries. This is not something you see every day. We are going to get into some of the awesome videos that were provided by the people that saw this and reported it to AmericanMeteorSociety.com, 916 reports. Now, I've been following this site for years, and I don't think I've ever seen a number that high of actual people reporting seeing it. Now, keep in mind, that's just the people that reported it. Not everyone knows about this website, so I'm assuming this could be in the thousands. But very quickly, before we get to the videos, take a look at this. It was seen within Canada and the United States, including Alabama, Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, Maryland, Michigan, North Carolina, New York, Ohio, Ontario, Canada, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, and West Virginia. I will provide links to this website so you can go watch these videos on your own, but I've compiled a few of them for you. Just take a look at this grouping of people. I'm telling you, this is not something you see very often. But once again, as we've been posting, the Northeast has been absolutely swarmed with meteor sightings. Not only that, but the sonic booms of these things exploding overhead. Now, another interesting fact about this, this one is believed to have hit the ground, making it a meteorite. So somewhere within this vicinity, based on the trajectory, you could see the end of the arrow right about here. It's a little hard to see with all the people there. In fact, let me zoom in really quick one more time. There's the trajectory right there from a west to east direction. So chances are this thing landed somewhere within possibly the very southern end of Pennsylvania going into Maryland. Now the reason I say this is because of some of these videos which are all copyright free on that website which I'll provide but take a look at some of these amazing captures. You're going to notice something interesting. Some of these leave a tail that you actually see well after the meteor has already exploded or at least finished its entrance into the atmosphere and that is something that you don't see all the time these tails are lingering plus the trajectory of some of these leads everyone to believe that this was in fact a meteorite this one here giving the brightest flash we could see but take a look at how long that tail lasts in the sky and it's as bright as basically the meteor was itself and then it slowly fades away this one here being detected by a doorbell cam it kind of happens quick it didn't catch all of it but take a look at that again you see that tail lingering in the sky now believe Believe it or not, this video was actually submitted as that event. This was part of those 900 plus people that saw it, but clearly a much different signature. This thing almost looks like just a simple ball of light streaking across the sky without a tail. So I'm wondering whether or not American Meteor Society may have added that video on accident, but it's just odd to see that video without any sort of tail while each other video clearly shows the bright flash with the tail following behind and then the tail lingering on. Some of the evidence determining whether or not this thing may have been a meteorite is the trajectory and you could see that in these two clips here which basically looks like it's shooting straight towards the ground I know sometimes that could be some sort of an illusion if it's shooting across the sky and away from our view but again it's already being said to people in the public to look out for a meteorite within that area as I said like the Pennsylvania slash Maryland states now, at this point, it is absolutely no secret that the uptick in meteor sightings, the sonic booms, and now meteorites in the upper northeast specifically and western parts of Canada is on a clear uprise. These things have been making mainstream news, and there was even this story about the possibility of a meteor landing on a guy's house, eventually burning it to the ground with neighbor witnesses claiming they saw this take place. But the main point here is seeing nearly a thousand people on just one website alone Reporting this meteor means that it was something spectacular and obviously large enough for that many people in such a broad area to see it. Now, are these meteors coming from asteroids? We did a video a while back about an addition of 13 brand new asteroids, which are called NEOs, near-Earth objects that are expected to pass Earth in just the next couple months. Some of them only with a day warning, with the reasoning being that they're coming from the direction of the sun and they are blinded out by even the most advanced technology, which is meant to to spot these things. So once again, my friends, we have yet another situation of a large meteor, possibly now a meteorite, somewhere in the upper northeast. As I said in my previous videos, we are going to be seeing more and more of these things, and in my opinion, it's just a matter of time before one of these is big enough to survive that intense atmospheric burn, which very much takes away a lot of the size of these things, but if we get a big enough one, whatever the leftover remnants are could be big enough to actually cause damage on Earth. Alright, my friends, quick 
video today. As I said, I am in Canada. I will more than likely have a video out tomorrow morning. If not, I will see you as soon as possible. I appreciate each and every one of you. Shout out to Canada once again, my friends, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.